Okay, so our recurrence relationship, that's just uh, this statement here, where it gives you the next term in terms of the previous term. So our recurrence relationship, the equivalent relationship might be T of n plus 1 is equal to T n plus 5. Okay, um, and instead of it being T1 at the start, we might have had well, n equal to 0. So n is equal to 1. So. so anyway, so we've got T1. So if I want to work out T2, that's equal to 2 minus 1, which is 1. That's equal to T1 plus 5, which is equal to 3 plus 5, which is 8. T3 is equal to T2 plus 5, which is equal to 13. T4 is equal to T3 plus 5, which is equal to 18. Um, find the recurrence relations for the following. So what's happening here? So each term is being multiplied by minus a third, it looks like. So we could say, uh, so if you like, T1, we could say was equal to 9. And then we could say that Tn, well, yeah, we'll go Tn, is equal to the previous one times minus a third. Yeah, so a quick check. So if I put, say, um, oh, I see it's a little bit under. So n equal to 1. So we're going to start with n equal to 2. T2 is equal to minus a third times T times N minus 1, which is T1, and negative a third times 9 is equal to minus 3. All right. um, I guess the only downside of using the recurrence relation is that you need to know the previous expression before you can work out the next expression. Okay, So you can see that here, the next term Tn, well, actually this one here, the, the nth term, we can just substitute the n value. So if I want to work out, for example, well, t2, it's just simple equal t to the n was equal to 2, 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2. t3 is equal to 2 to the 3 minus 1, which is equal to 4. So if we just substitute the appropriate n value to get the appropriate term. Um, so what's happening in here, 1, 4, 9, 16? Well, it's n squared, isn't it? So t1 is equal to 1 squared. t2 is equal to 2 squared. So tn is just equal to n squared. t4, fourth term, is 4 squared, which is 16. Oh, what a good number of students studying less was increases this year. There are presently 40 students studying specialist math so let's put t1 is equal to 40 set up a recurrence relationship if it's increasing by five students each year so what is it it's just equal to the previous one so tn is equal to t n minus one plus five there's my recurrence relationship uh, now write down an expression for tn in terms of n only so Tn is equal to, um, so what is it? It's equal to the previous 1 plus 5, isn't it? So well, hang on, we don't want to do That's what we did previously. So it's just increasing by 5 each time. So it's 5n plus what we started with. So now the interesting thing is if I put 40 there, and t is equal to 1, t1 has to equal 40 in total. So I'm going to put 35 there. So there's a couple of ways we could approach this. So if n is equal to 1, I get 5 plus 35 is 40. There's my t1. I could perhaps suggest that t0 is equal to 40. Yeah, and therefore... Tn is equal to, uh, sorry, yeah, 5n plus 40. 
And if I put n equal to 0, t0 is equal to 40. And if I put n equal to 1, 5 plus 40 is 45. So it's just a case of, I think I'd probably prefer this one here. Because then we can sort of think n is the number of years that have elapsed. Yeah? So now if I go to C, find the number of students expected to be at the school in five years' time. So if we just work it out, so I'm going to go T5 is just simply equal to 5 times 5 plus 40, which is 65. If I just do it manually, we start with 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. So that's after one year, two year, three year, four year, five year. Yeah. So it's just a case of getting the right expression. Both of these are valid expressions. Okay. But then in this one here, if n is equal to one, that's the first year. So that's it's it's hard to you know, work out after five years, is that going to be n is equal to five or is that n equal to six? So you've just got to be clear in your head what what value represents which year. The height of a sand dune is increasing by 10% each year. It is currently four metres high. So the recurrence relationship increases by 10%. So the next value is equal to the previous value plus 10%. So you could put down um, Tn plus 0.1 of Tn. So increasing by 10% means we multiply by 1.1. Yeah, that's 11 tenths bigger. Write an expression for Tn. So again, I'm going to take T0 as equaling 4. So therefore, Tn uh, plus 1 is equal to, well, let's have a look, 4 times, uh, hang on, N. So let's think about that. Let's think about this, okay? So the next year, so we start with 4. And then it becomes 4 times 1.1. And then the next year, I multiply by 1.1 again. Next year, I then multiply by 1.1 again. So it's 4 times 1.1 to the 1. 4 times 1.1 squared. 4 times 1.1 cubed. Yeah? So... That's naught, so I'm going to put, does that look right to us? So if I put n equal to 0, 1.1 to the 0 is 1. Uh, so I'm going to put, so maybe I'm going to call that t1. So I've got to get consistent here. So I think what we might do is, uh, if we go back in time a little bit, let's, I think the first term we're going to call T1. So if T1 is equal to 4, T2 is 4 times 1.1 to the 1. So that looks okay. T3 will equal T of 2 plus 1, which is 4 times 1.1 squared. Yeah? So in actual fact, T1 is at the start. T2 is at the end of the first year. So if I want to actually work out uh, the sand dunes um, seven years from now, so if T1 is now, T2 is one year from now, T3 is two years from now, so T8 is seven years, so that's going to be equal to four times 1.1 1 .1, um, What was N7, which is about 7.795, 
yeah so just keep track keep track of the years and represent so it's just not going to be a simple case of um, we're looking for seven years let's work out t7 all right it may well be that n the counter represents seven years all right let's go